it is the start of a new vlog, start of a new timetable, so that way I don't forget my timetables anymore for vlogging. Um, but it is Monday. It is 5.50 in the morning. I got a little bit of a late start because there was so much stuff to bring downstairs and I just didn't have the energy. But yeah, anyways, so I am on Love From Scratch. I am over halfway, I think. We'll find out in a second. I am 44% in, so that's almost halfway. It is due today. So I will get it done because I have to. I'm also still on the Duke and I, but I'm going to actually switch gears and go to the blood trials because that's due tomorrow, I think. I have a ton of books due this week. Um, a ton that are due tomorrow, the whole week, um, so I need to actually read. Hopefully I can because I've gotten pretty much everything sorted out. Um, but I, you know, there's still, there's still stuff to do. So hopefully I can get that done and have a really, really good reading day and not fall asleep early like I have been. I went to bed early. Well, okay. So I went, I was trying to take a nap and I went to bed at like 3, 350 and I ended up waking up at 730 and I was still really, really tired and really, really low energy. So I went to bed back at like 930, something like that. 10, I think it was, I don't know. It was super early. So I went back to bed. Um, and I slept till five. So yeah, that is it. Um, hopefully we fix the sleep schedule because I have really, really exciting things coming and I don't want to be asleep for them. So catch you guys up in a bit. Hey bookies, it is Friday the 8th at 6.06 .06 in the morning. I've not vlogged in the past couple of days because I am absolute trash. Um, we all knew that though. But I have been so busy trying to get stuff done. And I know you hear this constantly, but like, it was busy. Um, I had a ton of stuff due this week. So let's just go over my complete panic and what I got read so far. Because apparently I only read well if I'm in an absolute panic. Alright, so I finished Love From Scratch. Um, that was a pretty good book. Um, like, it was sweet. Um, if you're, if you're into cooking books or foodie books, you're going to like that one. Uh, four out of five. Um, I only knocked it down to four out of five because, like, I felt like a lot of stuff was rushed. And I wanted more of the competition. But, yeah. Um, next is Blood Trials by N.E. Davenport. That one was pretty good. I gave it a 3.5 out of five because a lot of it was, like, super confusing. Um, but I really liked the premise and I liked the blend of magic and sci-fi together. So it was really good, but just, it was, it confused me a lot. Um, Once Upon Another Time, uh, I finished that one. All of these that I finished were within Monday, Tuesday, except for the last one. Um, of Once Upon Another Time, I gave that one a four out of five. Again, um... The beginning was a little confusing. There were some like little wonky parts in the pacing, um, but good. It's a good children's fantasy overall. It was pretty good. Um, we have the Matchbreaker Summer, which um, mm, I had high hopes for that one, but that one is a three out of five for me. Um, the premise is good. The execution was not. <laughs> it. Uh, mm. Yeah, I had high hopes for that one. Anyways, The Girl with the Golden Eyes by Samantha Haynes. I gave it a 5 out of 5. That one was a fun murder mystery with historical fiction and stuff like that. Um, it was just a fun book. It was a little short, but it was a fun book. Um, the Starless Crown by James Rollins. I have the DNF, that one. That one's my new third, third or fourth DNF of this year so far. Um, I gave it a 2 out of 5. Absolutely bonkers. It was like... Mm. could not get into could not i made it 20 percent, and i'm like done um the or crimson summer by heather graham i gave that one a three out of five it was a fairly good solid um mystery thriller book uh just there was a lot of stuff that was like mm, you know like mm, yeah no so all of those were like monday and tuesday um, we get to Wednesday and I was supposed to have Hotel Magnifique ready for review and I didn't. So I did like a back and forth between like, um, you know, reading and doing chores and stuff, which is why I didn't vlog because I was in absolute panic mode. Um, but I did get Hotel Magnifique done and I gave that one a five out of five. That one is so 
such a good book. It's full of like really, really fun magic. Um, and like, it's very carnival and night circus like. And I swear that there is a movie that is kind of like this. I can't remember it. But yeah, um, basically a hotel that disappears every day at midnight. It pops up somewhere else, but there's a sinister secret behind it. It is fun. So we got that. Oh, hold on. Battery's on. I started the Tilter Smith, which I was supposed to have um, done yesterday. I'm going to read you up, but I got busy with like editing and stuff like that there was a lot of other stuff to do so today's goals are to finish the tilter smith which it's pretty good there's a lot of science behind it so if you have a kid that's interested in science they might like this um and i'm going to get started on my ebook i'm going to get started on this rebel heart which is due tomorrow is it tomorrow it might be sunday one of those two days um Actually, I think it is Sunday. But anyways, uh, this Rebel Heart, I'm going to start it um, and work on it. But I'm also going to start on my phone, Turning, by Joy L. Smith. Because that um, book is expiring on my phone in three days now. So, I gotta get that one read. And then, Loteria, I want to get finished and read. And then, all of next week, I have free. So, I get to work on the week after stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so that's my plan. So catch you guys up in a bit. Hey, bookies. My husband's cheating and starting working out without me. <laughs> but it is Saturday. It is 9.07. We slept in because the friends, um, stayed late, <laughs> which is fine. We were talking about a lot of stuff. Um, Ethan, what are you currently reading? Um, The Wheel of Time. He's still into that book. <laughs> yep. I don't know, like, yeah, I don't know. Um, I am, let's see here, 49% into this Rebel Heart. I need to start, well, like, okay, today is going to be, like, a pretty chore-heavy day, so I'm going to try to finish um, this Rebel Heart today, start and finish uh, Turning, start and finish Loteria, um, and then I need to get through to Tilter Smith, and I need to get back into the Duke and I. I have a free week next week. But I have a ton of stuff to do and a ton of stuff to catch up on and not a lot of time to do it because I have something special going on next week. Um, but yeah, that's the update because I forgot to charge the battery, so I'll catch you guys up in a bit. Hey, bookies. I forgot to end the vlog yesterday, but hey, end of the week. Alright, so I didn't get that much reading done towards the end of the week because I got too many other things to do. Um, so here's a quick summary of what I got done. Uh, currently, I am on The Duke and I. The Tilter Smith, The Rebel Heart, and Turning. So, that is it for this week. I don't know how long this vlog will be, so sorry if it's a short one. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you again. Bye.